Hey guys, just wanted to share uh, something that I've been building to help out with the high definition feed. If you're shooting commercially or you want the ability to run a screen from your DJI goggles, but you don't want to buy the $900 RC controller from DJI. I have roughly $200 in this, actually less than $200 in this, and I'm able to do everything that the RC does uh, as far as view. Additionally, I put, and you can see this piece here, that is a, a secondary HDMI out, uh, so you can have a view screen, and then you can also have uh, secondary out if you wanted to live stream or something like that or uh, send it back to a booth uh, you have the ability to do that with this particular output uh, and the output resolutions uh, for this screen and the output for this will automatically adjust so I'm gonna just go ahead and plug in power for this thing it's just using the digiview it's very easy to program uh, so you see the digiview logo comes up when you first power it on with an extra HDMI plugged in, the bigger screen shows a small logo, uh, but it will actually resize to the proper size of your screen. Um, so we kick the goggles on, no signal obviously, once I plug the drone in, hopefully I'm on the right channel, and the goggles just linked up, might have to replug the USB. And there you go. So I did have to replug the USB. Um, that's kind of a known thing. Just wanted to go briefly over what is contained in this. Obviously, the drone, the goggles, the USB-C to USB-A, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just unplug all of this stuff and then flip this over. So on the back here, you can see um, it's all integrated. I do plan on putting an internal battery in. You can see it has 12 volt input, uh, VGA input, and an extra HDMI input as well, and then audio. The other side is your Raspberry Pi. Um, so you've got two USB 3s, two USB 2s, um, and an Ethernet jack. The only function that this device serves at this point is to display DigiView. Uh, I know some of the other options out there allow you to program Betaflight and stuff like that. This does not do that. Um, this is also not a touch screen. All of this stuff was either um, Micro Center or Amazon purchased. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to ping me. And um, yep, hope this makes somebody's life a little easier when doing a commercial shoot.